What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Raymond Chico Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I get into this video, I, I want to remind everyone to check out my playlist that I leave in the description box. Make sure you check it out. Check out a couple vlogs. Leave me some comments. Today, I'm back with Vita Day number eight. Vita Day number eight. I'm, I'm sharing my thoughts on Brittany Griner being sentenced to nine years in prison. Now, it took me a while to share my thoughts on this because I wanted to get all the details, all the information. I want to do some research, and that way I can give a full opinion without jumping to conclusion, without assuming. You know, it's good to know the facts before you speak on something. So, uh, I took the time to read a couple articles on YouTube, on Facebook, YouTube, and in the news that come on my news feed on Facebook. And I want to say, I'm really, I'm really shocked. I'm really shocked. I mean, you know, you, you got to look at the bigger picture. Yes. Yes. It was a small amount of marijuana in a, in a vape and it was a liquid vape. You know, yes. She admitted that she was wrong, but at the same time, she knew that it was wrong to do that. And she knew my thing is this. She made it all the way through all the custody, all the procedures you go through at the airport in America with it. You know, and now coming to Russia, it's a problem. And I think it was a problem on the way going home, coming back to America. You know what I mean? It was a problem. Because that's the only time they search your, your luggage or whatever is when you're taking a flight out of the country or leaving the state. And that's my thing. It, it, was, it came a bit there. And as she said, she, she was rushing and forgot it was in her in her luggage. You know, I mean, a typical honest mistake, but I don't mean it's a good enough honest answer to avoid consequences. Everything we do in life, bad, comes with consequences. You know what I'm saying? Yes, she admitted it was hers. She had it. She forgot that it was in her luggage because she was rushing. Understandable, but that still doesn't mean she was avoid all consequences. You know what I mean? In my opinion, that's this is only my opinion. Don't shoot the messenger. I want to speak in my mind saying how I feel about the situation, you know. And that's how I feel, you know. Just like me. If I if I go in the store and pick up something and put on a pick pick up something to buy and put on the bottom of the car and forget about it. And in a in a in my car. And someone coming to get me, hey, you're a shot left how? Oh, you forgot you forgot this uh whatever I had on the bottom of the cart. You know what I mean? Okay, I, I forgot it was there, but that still don't mean I avoid all charges. You know what I mean? If they want to press charge, then they have a right to press charge for shot lifting. Simple mistake too, but you know, every simple mistake ain't gonna be avoided. As we like to claim it should, you know, you still gotta be held accountable for your actions. You still have to be held accountable for your actions. You know, now, I know it's a small amount of liquid marijuana in her vape. I don't feel that's worth it to get nine years incarcerated. I really don't. I really don't feel that's worth nine years. You know what I mean? But Russia had different rules and different guidelines they go by. That's something we have to accept. They have different rules and guidelines that they go by. However, I will say this. If America apply them same guidelines, I guarantee a lot of people start committing crimes. She got nine years for that little bit of liquor, liquor. Zero point seven. She got nine years. I don't nine years for that. If America had them same kind of guidelines, boy, look at how a lot of stuff will change over here. A lot of stuff will change in America. I guarantee you'll see less people going to jail, going, going to prison. The whole nine. You know, the whole nine. That's just my opinion. Now, the mess up thing about this situation, Brittany Griner been incarcerated in Russia since February. February. It's now August. That's what? February, March, April, May, June, July. That's six months. Six months she's been incarcerated in another country. In America. I ain't gonna say America, the president haven't done nothing to get her home as of yet. 
That's weird. That's odd to me. That's odd to me. Because I know if I was in the present, I'd be doing it. I'd be putting every strain possible to get, get that girl over here. To get that girl out. That's just my opinion. America is, is, is incarcerated. America. A taxpaying American with a rich, poor, whatever, is incarcerated in another country. America should be doing everything they can in their power to get her home. Like how these celebrities, everybody trying to pull, pull strings and whatnot to get her home. That's what that's what the president should be doing. The president and the vice president should be sitting down trying to figure it out. Now they have Russia has made an offer saying that give us these two criminals, a murderer and a I forgot what the other one is. Give it to the two criminals y'all have locked up in America, and that's same for her. I believe they made this. They made this. They made this offer. I think Friday. Here it is, Monday morning. Why haven't the president agreed to release those two criminals? That make you think. It is a bigger picture to this. Cause I'm pretty sure if, if everybody know about it from social media, the offer that Russia made, I'm pretty sure uh, the government, I'm pretty sure the government, the president, all know about it. That's just my opinion. But I feel it's a bigger picture. And I, I really I really feel it's bigger than what we know. It's deeper than what we know because you got to look at it. Russia and Ukraine has been at war for a while. Russia been defeating the Ukraine in the war for a minute now, for a while. And what did America do? America had to step in to help Ukraine, get donate money, artillery, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, and I and Russia didn't like that, so I feel like this is a this is a power move for them. They got American checkmate right now. You have something we want, we have something y'all want. This is what you get for sticking your nose in other people's business. Say that one more time. This is what you get for sticking your nose in other people's business. You know what I mean? Two countries at war, and America step in to help the country that's losing. You know? So of course you're going to retaliate. You put a you put a you put a freeze on all they accounts in America, you freeze all their money. All their funds is in America. You freeze transport all they uh, uh, all they product they send over here. You put a freeze on all that money they making from America. And you think they're not gonna get mad about that? You think they're just gonna oh 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 they did this no big deal? What? Come on man, come on come on come on Biden. You know they ain't gonna sit back and accept that, huh? They they were looking for a way to get revenge. They were looking for a way to put us in checkmate. Now look. We gave it to him. It's Britain and Griner situation. I don't know if I'm saying her last name right, but I'm trying. G R I N E R Griner. You know, we gave them the open door. We get now they got us in checkmate. So what y'all gonna do? Or checkmate a stalemate? Cause we have some. We had two people they want, and they have two we want. But when they only focus on one, Brittany Griner. You know what I mean? So is the president, vice president, or whoever need to make the call, if they gonna make the call, that's what I'm sitting by waiting to see. You know what I mean? That's what I'm, I'm sitting by waiting to see because I'm pretty sure it's only a push of a button to find out where those two prisoners that Russia want is located. It's only a push of a button. But that, that push of a button have not been done as of yet. What it's gonna take for that call to be made, I have no idea, but whoever will need... Whoever has the authority to, to get this done, need to get on their job and get that girl home. Whoever got the authority to get this done, need to get on their job and get it done. ASAP. She needs to be home with her family. Yes, it was a simple mistake, but that simple mistake led to big consequences in Russia. You know, just like I've seen so many times, and and then I've seen people go to jail for stupid stuff like that all the time here, here in America. My one time, I almost went to jail because, um, I was chilling in a mechanic shop on the phone, walking around the neighborhood one night with my girl, and the police pulled up, asked me what I'm doing, hanging at a at a closed mechanic shop. And I'm just walking on the phone, and I just I, I happened to stop right here. Is that a problem? She's like, no. What are you, you sure that's all you doing? No, I mean, she questioned me what night. Next, you know, she pulled out her flashlight, looking around on the ground, and light 
20 feet away from me, and she found a, a bag of weed. I'm like, wow, just my luck. Tell her that ain't mine. I'm arguing it out. I'm pleading my case, pleading my case. And she opened it, smell it. And went to smell it, started looking around for more, see if she find anything else. Then she, you know, she took a little nickel bag of weed, dime bag of weed, dumped it out and squished it. So it was some bad weed. And then no telling how long it been there. And she got in the car and went by the business. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I seen people go to jail for crazy situations like that on a regular basis. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's crazy. But as I said before, whoever need to make that call, whoever need to make that call to get Brittany Griner over here, back home with her family, her loved ones and whatnot, you need to, you need to, uh, Need to get on your job. You need to get on your job and get get her home. Give up them two criminals. So what? They just ban them from ever come back to America. Just ban them from ever come back to America. That's all I gotta do. Ban them. Ban them. Say so you no longer working in America. We we'll see you over here again. We'll lock you back up. But ban them two criminals ASAP. That's just my opinion. You know. And and I've been reading the news article how she she's really making the best of the situation. She's not sitting right. Mad at the world and and whatnot, she's actually making friends and and you know making the best of the situation where I've been incarcerated, and I respect her for that. You know what I mean? I respect her for that. But I still feel she belongs here, home with her with her loved ones, and America needs to do all they can to resolve this issue. America need the government, whoever whoever got the the the, the, the authority, need to get on the internet. Locate them two Russian criminals that's locked incarcerated over here in America. Say, hey, okay, you here, you here. Let's get them, get them to the White House, get them in a private jet ASAP to Russia, and get Brittany Griner home. Let Brittany let them know, hey, she's on them, them two criminals on their way. Send our send the American home. This, this is a crazy situation, but as I said before in this in this in sharing my thoughts, America started this. You should have stayed out of that war between Russia and Ukraine. We shouldn't be sending the artillery over there. We shouldn't be sending no funding. None of that. Everything we everything we did to help Ukraine in this war should not been done. We should have stayed out of it. And it led to all this. These are my thoughts. This is how I feel. Let me know in the comment how you feel about the situation. And I give you a shout out my shout out video the last Sunday in August. I also want to say happy birthday to all the Leos out there. My birthday is this Wednesday the 10th. I'm excited to be turning, if I let us see it, be turning, be turning 42. Um, if you like the video, I'm going to subscribe, like, comment, share. Make sure you turn on post bit notification. From the look of things, from the look of things, it look like I'm, I am, I think, five subscribers away from 3,000. So I'm getting close. I'm getting close. You know, I'm getting close. You know, I ain't really been paying attention. My um, my lady life of Chanel pointed out to me when was that bingo? Uh, when was that bingo Saturday night? Pointed out to me. So I've been checking all my devices. Yeah, um, some devices say I'm one subscriber away, and others say I'm four away. But I'm getting close to the 3K mark. I'm getting close to the 3K mile. And the way I'm a little excited and the way I'm not because I know just because my number count me going up, that don't mean that I'm gaining loyal subscribers. Could be all dead numbers, but it's still going up and that means I need to put my video together for the uh for the giveaway. So y'all be on the lookout for that. I'm putting that together as we speak. Enjoy y'all Monday, which is August 8th. Hey, hey, hey. Mm -mm.